Hello Leo, welcome to Tarot Predictions and this will be your love and relationship tarot scope for April 2017 provided by me, Rab. And um, <clears throat> let's jump directly to the cards. That will be a seven card spread, guys. So we do have these seven. Now the first one that you have which will express the past situation, that's the two of wands. Then uh, what will express the term, the, the term of um, <clears throat> of April or the energy energies uh, of April that will be the um, tower for what it seems yeah well not very pleasant eh so after that for what it seems we have the outlook for the future or the things you can aim for that is the chariot card then we are going to the best possible approach or the best actions you can take uh, in April regarding your uh, your love and, and relationship life that is the eight of pentacles then we're going to how the people are going to see you or the exterior influence of one relationship. This is the world card. Then we're going to the challenges you need to face. That will be the moon card. And uh, at the end, for what it seems, very beautiful card here, we, got, we have guys, the summarizing of all, it is the uh, Ace of Cups. So let's start directly with the cards. Now the first one is the past influence, and the two of wands in one relationship, guys, has a high, uh, comes as a high demand. You have been either way too persistent, way too demanding in your relationship. You have been way too, let's say, uh, tyrannical into one relationship, not uh, regarding to the opinion of uh, of the other, and. Uh, not taking under consideration how the other have been feeling about you and about all the situations that you have been involved in and also if you are single that you of want um, expresses of how high demands you had from all the people that wanted to um, to get involved with you okay and this is why you are still single if you're finding yourself in such states because this card shows that you have quite high demands from those people constantly looking for someone new or accepting that even if this one doesn't you know doesn't doesn't fit with me I do have other options available and now we are coming to April where uh, the energies will be the tower and you are gonna shift you're gonna change your opinion is going to change dramatically it, it, it also will come through turmoil as well for what it seems there will be a highly violent energy into your relationship and uh, love life seeking for love life so the car suggest guys that you may fall in love with someone you usually wouldn't fall in love with the car suggests that you will almost lose your relationship do a big fights big struggles with your partner but the card also gives you an opportunity to revive what is almost broken to rebuild it like uh, a phoenix from the ashes if you want to say it that way so you better prepare yourself at um at april to have a, a lot of clashes people this card also suggests um, unplanned pregnancy for what I can say, it will be something that will make you think in a brand new way to accept your relationship or your status in a brand new way. And uh, it is usually a card that comes with a uh, rather unpleasant um, symptoms because it will catch you unprepared, very unprepared. And with that being said, it is kind of you will go into, let's say, very, very um, unstable state in terms of uh, emotional and um, if you want to say it, material state so basically this card is going to make your april very very insecure but this is because you just need that shift otherwise uh, no progress further can be made either in uh, your looking for love life or in your relationship itself so basically the situation around you desperately requires shift and just because you have built your castle and you didn't have, you didn't left any room for expand. Now the universe is gonna make it for you, for what it seems. So after that, we are going to what your aims should be. Now with the chariot, okay? With the chariot, that car speaks um, mostly for those which are as relation, which are in relationship. But there is only one sentence I can say with this card: Don't let your relationship fall. You gotta stand up and fight for it, okay? Because for what it seems, regardless of how <coughs> difficult it will be, 
you do have that chance in order to do it so okay so don't drop it off even if you're finding yourself hurt even if you're hiding finding yourself treated unfair or actually if you're finding yourself treated unfair with the tower card for what it seems you're just thinking that you're treated unfair or just on the contrary you have been treating unfair your partner and that's why now this is coming back to you but this is another subject now with the chariot for what it seems guys you do have all the willpower all the strength emotional and physical strength in order to push the things through and this is where your side should be um set to now with those which are single the card says that you will do have that opportunity for a new relationship however you need to be very very careful not to jump into it very hasty okay so there is a time and place in order to do so guys but um you need to you need to be very careful of uh, approaching that what i mean is that it could be way too um way too harsh okay but uh, not very carefully considerate of jumping into a, a relationship and then we are going into a card showing the best possible approach with the eight of pentacles people okay so with the eight of pentacles you have to step out from this uh, state of being hurt first of all uh, the eight of pentacles is a card especially if we're talking about relationship reading that you need to step out and do something about it solidifying your relationship now that should happen slowly and steady step by step you need to create for yourself a particular plan in order to do so now of course with this card it has that property which means that there will be a lot of ups and downs and you need to determine yourself okay to um, go through them I mean just don't give up that is basically what the cards are saying for those in relationship so for what it seems till now guys which are with a, a mates next to them I mean with uh, have a person next to them which they love it does seem they are very stressful month okay it does seem that there will be around turns in your month and you're not gonna like them basically they will cut you very very unprepared but uh, in another way, in, in another words, <clears throat> you need to, you have to, you must to give these efforts to let, to make the relationship happen, to sustain your relationship, to conserve it, to protect it. I mean, it's, it's your duty to do so, not to drop it off. For those singles, the, the, the Eight of Pentacles speaks for stepping out in front of the crowd. Just the, that being said, guys, make the world aware that you does exist now how the people are going to see you with the world card they will actually see your effort for those in relationship they will see your effort trying from you to really um, repair and fix your relationship to make the things straight because why why the, the why question is because Probably the more you work for the relationship or the more you are starting to lose the relationship in a term that the more the relationship is slipping off your grasp, the more you will realize, guys, that the person you are losing at this very moment is the one that you have to spend your time with, your life with. And this will drive you crazy, okay? It's really going to drive you crazy and the people around you, they will, for what it seems, they are going to support you. Okay, and uh, they will be completely honest with you. Probably most of them will tell you, you fool, how you could have let that thing happen, you know, how you could have losing this person. But for what it seems, uh, <clears throat> you can, as I said, I will, I will repeat it again, you can make the things right, okay, you can make the things straight, but it will require a, a lot of effort, guys. So continue working for the stabilization of your relationship. 24 7 and for what it seems you will be able to do so so people there is a hope for those who are about to lose their love life loved ones excuse me that they can make the things better and actually regain back a, a person that just broke up with them or someone who is about to live their life it is just you can't do it for those single people around you will see you in a search for the one that you want to spend your time with so they will see you as a, someone who says enough with the bullshit okay i don't want to jump from a short-term relationship i just want that person that i can have a trust in i can i can really feel that love for them and uh, 
with that being said they they are going to encourage you to really settle yourself down with a lady or with a guy and as i said enough bullshit that they would say to you that you need to put a devotion in something that you start and then we are going to the challenges guys the moon is about insecurity so you are going to feel insecure through that whole procedure uh, <clears throat> so how what the moon expresses is that stabilization of the ruining of one relationship will seem like a, a dream unachievable dream of yours but this is just what your mind is making up okay so it's not unachievable and that's why the chariot come in the outlook of the future guys is because you need to arm yourself with your iron will. I mean, don't drop it off. Don't divide from that part, no matter what, people. Because the moon will seriously work against you for what it seems. And moon is always <clears throat> putting you in a state of doubts, in a state of fear, in a state of insecurity, in a state of... Um, not being able to foresee the results of, our, of one actions though the results are there it is just the moon is blocking you from seeing them okay so it also speaks about delays and fantasies but whatever it is that's are the challenges you need to all uh, run over i mean everything you think you can do it is real it is just the moon is is putting this blur in front of you so don't presume guys i mean especially if you are single and you have just met that person either man and a woman and uh, you really have a great time with it, but one but one day you just text them and you don't, don't receive a message two days or three days after that don't presume that they have just lost interest i mean you don't know what battle they are leading i mean from the with the exterior you, you need to give them a time but again you have to show yourself in front of the world with the world card that being said guys you need to constantly remind them of your presence and at the end to summarize all that people with the ace of cups wow well love is what you're going to experience so you are searching for love love is going to come in your way and that will be a, a spontaneous okay so for those singles we, I can't say that they will meet the person of their life, but they will definitely fall in love. I really hope that it is a shared love, because the shared love is expressed by the Two of Cups in here. You're going to be the one experiencing love. What will happen with the other person? We don't know, okay? But regardless of that, try to make the maximum out of it, because this falling of love it will give you vitality, it will it will change you, okay? It will change you because the old bullshit, they, they will just not gonna be relevant in your life because you're in love, simply, okay? And those in relationship, revival of one emotions and, uh, you know, letting the love out is going, it is what will gonna take place. So we are here seeing you that you will be able to stabilize and regain back the control of your, your relationship but this time the control should be uh, set on both sides what i mean is that your partner also needs to have a part of controlling the relationship because of, with the two of want in the past or what it seems is that you have been the one who is the, uh, who is demanding so basically when uh, you are able to fix and repair and stabilize your relationship, listen to your partner because they are also a human being. They also have a soul and they also need to feel themselves loved. So that was the telescope for you, Leo, for April 2017, guys. If you do want a private reading with me, you can find me at www.tarotpredictions.net, which is also written here. In the, in the descriptions of the video, if you do find this video uh, helpful, guys, please like and subscribe for more content on my channel. And with that being said, see you people next time. Bye.